guys. I was just filming uh, on my camcorder, or my camcorder, my uh, phone. I was doing a Facebook Live video. It's really warm today. It's like 90 something. And uh, you guys know all about that if it's hot. Plus, I'm way out here. Uh, it just, my phone overheats when I do live videos. And the only way I can really get a good long, I can stay on live for a long time is if I'm uh, in an area that has a better signal or it's cold outside. It keeps the phone cool, but I'm going to be upgrading my phone here soon to something better. Well, the phone is an LG G4, and I love the camera on it. It's, it's amazing. It doesn't show up that well when I'm doing live videos, but whenever I just record with it and upload the video, it's, it's I mean, it rivals what I'm doing with this, which is the... Uh, HD camera with a class 10 SD card in it, which is top of the line, so. Um, this X has been here for, since I found this place. And that that log there, I think, was was up here on top or something at one time. I don't, I don't know what it means. Um, but it is interesting. But anyway, I'm going to get the new G LG G6 and hopefully uh, there's no reviews or anything on it because it's, it's just not, I don't even know if it's, it's just now coming out. So, but I'm sure they've fixed, from what I read on the reviews on this phone that I'm using now, uh, it just had issues with the overheating. And I, they said to get a new battery, so I did that, and that didn't really help. I'm just going to upgrade the phone, and hopefully I can do more live. People are really liking the live videos, so I want to keep doing them. What is that? Monopod. It's actually what it is. It's a. It's for hunting. It's got a. Uh, it's a hunting stick, a rifle stick. It has a V on the top of it, and you put your rifle on it when you're hunting deer. And uh, anyway, you can unscrew that and put put different uh, tips on it. And I just unscrew it and put my camera on it and use it as. You can extend it and raise it way up high in the air, but. Uh, makes it make holding your camera a lot a lot better but a tripod would be even even better than that oh, shit. sorry there's something every time I zoom try to zoom in I lose it it's right back there something black And it could just be a tree stump or who knows. really warm today I was saying on my um, live video earlier I think everything is down by the lake today down by the water which is the direction I'm pointing the camera now is probably within a mile it's probably about a half mile from here that in that direct in this direction it's 
It's really quiet out here today. It's really quiet. Not eerily quiet. You know, sometimes you go out and you, it's it's quiet where it's just eerie. You get that eerie feeling. It's not really like that. It's just it's just kind of dead today. I didn't really know where I was gonna go. I just wanted to get out and I hadn't been in here. This is uh, the Sas what I call the Sasquatch camp. And uh, it's one of the newer places I've found. But uh, the videos I think I recorded when I found it were uh, summertime. I think it was green in here if I remember. Everything was still green. But I wanted to come back in here since our ice storm. And what's really sad about the ice storm is, you know, you used to be able, you could tell, kind of tell what was, uh, I mean, like this right here, that's from the ice storm. And that's new. Well, let's say it's from the ice storm. Uh, I don't know that. It looks relatively new. But uh, the ice storm just really, I mean, you you can come in most of these areas and I knew where the stick, I knew where the stick structures were, the brakes. I knew, uh, you know, what could have been Sasquatch related and what was deadfall. You know, you kind of pick that stuff out, but now it's just, it's just damn mess in here. You can't tell anything. Stuff like this I found interesting. Here is the, the, the butt or the broken off piece of a tree. And this looks like it's actually been burned, you can see. Um, but it's broken off, it's not sawed off. It's going all the way down this way. Let me show you. Going all the way through there. And it goes in to that tree. Now, if it had fallen from there, I can understand that. But look how the bud, the the ball, or, or the the end of the tree where it uh, broke off is sticking up through, through this weaved this weaved mess. Well, it's not a mess. I think it's quite interesting. Some of these are just, you find some of these, you're like, man, that is just beautiful. And you might think that's weird, but uh, if you're a researcher, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you're an enthusiast, uh, you find stuff like that, and you're like, man, what does it all mean? And like, here's a, now this this could be here's a goes up and nothing's holding that down. Nothing at all is holding that down. Nothing's nothing's holding that. Step back here so you can see and get a better look at it. See nothing's holding that down. Could have been at one time. Could have this tree here that fell could have been holding it down. Who knows? I've really got to, I'm really wanting to, to get start getting away from uh, researching out here as much. Um, I got to go to the city a couple weeks ago and, well, not the city, but uh, central Oklahoma, east of OKC, and check out some areas uh, with my buddy Tom. And uh, had a lot of fun in there. There was some really interesting stuff. looking at 
Uh, but there must have been a fire in here at one time because I haven't seen, like here's one. Got a burnt in on it. But what I was saying is I, you know, uh, in Timber Giant Bigfoot, uh, up in Ontario, you know, <clears throat> first of all, he probably will never, he's probably, I doubt he watches my videos, but he's what got me started doing all this. Uh, well, him and a couple other guys, but, you know, I really loved the way he did, goes about just walking through the woods and, I wasn't going to get any activity. I just heard something look like something walking back there. But I really like, I'm going to just ignore, like I'm not, it seems like when I stop talking and the movement stops, so I'm just going to keep going. But anyway, I really like the way uh, Timber Giant Bigfoot does his his uh, research. You know, and, and what I was getting at when I brought him up is, is he's made a good point before. Uh, he, uh, you know, a lot of the times he goes out and does, walks through the same trails, through the same areas, uh, and he can become kind of predictable to these creatures somewhat. Um, and they, they know where he's gonna go, um, what he's gonna do. Um, but every once in a while he switches that up and throws them off. And I think that's when he's getting, if you pay attention to his videos, you know, they're they're getting used to his patterns, and then he and then he throws a, a curveball, and I, and I don't think he, I don't know that if he's doing that on purpose. He's never really came out and said that, but he did admit that he he uh, he kind of goes to the same places a lot, and uh, but if you watch, he goes and looks at these. Uh, he's been finding rock stacks like I've found. He goes and finds um, all these these structures. And when he goes and investig investigates those, he gets a lot of activity. So, I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to leave some of these areas alone. Um, I'm not out here every day, so uh, I don't really have a pattern they can get used to. Sorry, I'm videoing the ground there. But, uh, I don't know. I just feel like... Um, I need to get to give these some of these areas a break, and I've said that in the past in some of my videos. Plus, it just gets me into new areas if I can if I can just leave these alone. The, the thing with these areas is they're close to my, close to where I live, and that's why I come out here. It's convenience. Um, you know, I had that gifting area where um, I was gifting for a while and. I was getting lots of uh, activity, leaving them gifts. Uh, what am I hearing over here? But I went, away, I got away from that. Something I don't know. I was just number one. I had people people badgering me not to do that, and I had people saying I should. And, um. I, I kind of thought about it without, I just took everybody's comments and put them aside and I said, you know what, let's think about this. Is it a good idea to be gifting? And I, after thinking about it long and hard, what is that? What is that? After thinking about it long and hard, I decided I don't, I, uh, you know, because I was going into those areas sometimes without stuff. And uh, that can be dangerous. But, you know, I was in there not too long ago, my last last weekend actually. And I think I had three of them. It sounded like I had three of them and I felt, could feel, I, you might say this is silly, but I could almost feel their presence around me. And uh, I didn't get any bad vibes from it. I mean, it felt... Like they trusted me. Um, 
sorry the camera keeps hitting and pointing at the ground because I'm looking with my eyes to see what's back there there's something black let me see if I can find it again all right so it's right over that tree right in there what is that it almost looked like it moved a second ago I'm gonna try to keep the camera real still Easier said than done. And I can hear movement back there too. That is so hard to do. Just move. I am burning up. It is hot out here. I cannot tell if that's moving. I almost want to walk over there. If it is something alive. It's sitting down and I'm seeing its head and maybe part of its body. Oh, I cannot keep this still. I've got to start bringing a tripod with me. dead quiet right now. I think it's just a stump. I don't know.
I think it's just a stump. That wasn't a stump. What the hell was that? something through there. Every once in a while you think you can hear footsteps, but so dry out here and yes we have had some forest fires not in here but about six miles from here many of you saw my post on Facebook uh, that we we got evacuated out of the small town I live in Kind of a scary, scary deal. 